This video is our presentation of Canadian Overseas Petroleum Limited. Canadian Overseas Petroleum trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange on a ticker XOP. See for the last seven, eight months, nice series of higher lows, also making higher highs, developing an upward channel. Since its last consolidation right through here after the stock hit about 40 cents, it's holding a support level right around 29 cents, which was a resistance point before this last little breakout in the move. So I want to keep an eye on this going forward, see if that support level is going to stay intact and see if this chart's gearing up to make the next move towards a new high. We've got the MACD coming right back down on the zero line. You can see from the histogram bars moving back towards zero that it looks like the MACD is going to curl, drop another bullish cross right there at the zero point, which would indicate a short-term shift in trend and more than likely coincide with the stock trying to move back upward. So a pretty nice look to the MACD right now, still holding a bullish position on the positive side of zero, and at that point it's time to pay attention to it. Now the slow stow, only registering about a 30. That's down low, not a lot of momentum in the play, but that should be pretty much expected. Stock slid from highs and is sitting just above a support level at this point. We'll look for that break back through 50 to show a strengthening momentum to lend to the idea the stock's taking on some upward pressure. Money flow index, not in a bad position actually, just being shy of 50. Tells me that the price is near its 14 day average, which given the drop off, that's a relatively bullish spot. It's just eking up just a little bit at a time. Again, we'll look for that break of 50 to show people are paying higher prices for the stock. RSI is in a pretty similar position. Just moving up a little bit over the last couple weeks. Now pushing on 50. You can see the RSI 14 registering a 49.6. Kind of a benchmark point between bullishness and bearishness for the momentum. Similar to through here. We want to see that break through 50. Show that momentum is starting to build. And then put some distance between 50 have the RSI start getting close to 70 to lend to the idea that the bulls are taking control of momentum. So the indicators are in some pretty nice positions overall. Always definitely like any upward channel. And as I mentioned, what we'll be looking for from a support level is right there at 29 cents. Any dip below that should pick up some more support right here at about 26 and a half, 27 cents. But for the intents and purposes of trying to continue to make the higher lows, I'd really look for 29 to hold. Plus that keeps the stop loss of less than 10% from current levels. So 29 cent mark is pretty important to us going forward. Now as far as resistance goes, I'd look right here at 34 cents first. That was a tough spot for the chart back in September and again in January. And it was trying to hold its support after this last little run. And when that caved in, Classic TA says that support point is going to once again serve as resistance. And based on the history of it, I'd suspect that's going to be a pretty tough spot. And I don't think it's going to get any easier. It's going to run right through to 36 as the high closing point for the last year. So from 34 to 36, definitely going to be a tough area for the chart. It's a 15 to 20 percent upside from current levels, depending on where you're going to. But overall, if it can break through those levels, the odds are greatly increased. It's going to go up and test around 40 cents or so to try and continue this upward path that the chart's been on. Decent liquidity in it, 650,000 shares traded on Thursday. That's not bad volume at all based upon averages. So we'll look for that to stay strong, especially coming off this support to help build momentum and strengthen the trend to try and take out these resistance points and continue the channel. So those are the things that we'll be looking for in the XOP chart. But as always, it's merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.